So I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So what would you say some of your weaknesses are? <laughs> that, that, that's probably- What it is, guys? It's your boy Blast from Miss HD. And today we are here to check out some more Family Guy scenes. Now you guys have been sending me really good compilations on Discord lately. This one is of course by one of y'all again. Let's do this. We swapped blood! Look at my lip! It's a disgusting herpes sore! And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make! Hola, Handy Manny's Repair Shop. You break it, we fix it! Manny, Manny, I'm gonna need you to take me off speakerphone for this. <laughs> Good morning, boys. What's in store for today? Well, I thought we'd start with a vigorous power walk around the neighborhood. Whoa, 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 why? I was thinking we would just watch Dr. Oz and eat cold cuts off our stomach. What the hell? Those people ain't taking good care of themselves. That's tip. Really? Are you sure? Yes, we're done! I just hope we can handle it better than Blue and Yellow did when they split up. You were supposed to have the kids here by 5. We have plans. It's 5.15. Stop busting my hump, Alicia. Okay, you know what? Let's not, let's not do this in front of the kids. God, you're right. Whatever happened to us? Hey, baby. You ready for dinner? What's up, Scott? We gonna get some barbecue. Now, our family could use a trip like this. Plus, it might be good for you and me, too. It's the most romantic country in the whole world, and God knows we could use a little romance in our marriage. What are you talking about? Just the other night, we did that role-playing. Did you like that game of Mysterious Intruder, Lois? I told you! I don't know who you are, and my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Let's do it again. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, do you mind if I hang out here a while? I accidentally made eye contact with a transvestite at a bar, and he followed me home. No! You knew what you were staring at! Get out of here, you mess! You were far away! I didn't know what you were! You know you want me! Shut up! Now go home! Nobody saw me come here! I said shut up! Sneak around back. They did a study that shows it's really like that. At least one time out of 10. But apparently that's a thing, man. Scary times. Some of us are having a balls, a ball with this type of situation with the lady boys and whatnot. How come every time I'm feeling happy, somebody's gotta come along and ruin it? Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth, good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now? You stupid son of a bitch! Folgers, drink us when you've been tricked into it. What? Stewie, everyone is gonna die at some point. Everyone. So like- Lives! Even me? Yes, even you. You are going to die someday, Stewie. Wow. I guess you learn something new every day. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Oh my god, poor Chris. He's a social outcast, like Scarface. Okay, we have a deal. You bring the money, I get you the coke. You got it, Scarface. Oh my god, you can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to! Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We? So, I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So, what would you say some of your weaknesses are? Ah! That, that, that's probably one of them. Ah! Ah! So, I'm gonna have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So, what would you say some of your weaknesses are? Ah! That, that, that's probably one of them. Ah! Ah! You live in a house with all this junk. Rather stay in a house with small kids. So you can sleep on the couch. Uh, please take the potty seat off the toilet. Don't try to pee through it. There's juice boxes in the fridge. And if you get hungry, there's plenty of goldfish in the couch. Um, feel free to watch TV with the sound off. And the kids will be down here first thing in the morning to antagonize the dogs. Oh, and everyone here has pink eye. You're all gonna ditch me when I need you most? Yeah, Meg, it's natural selection. This is how it works in the wild. Now, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. 
Look at these big ones. Ah, ratatatata, ratatatata, ratatatata. Is this yes. calculus? I yes. don't know. Ratatatata. Yes, it is. Why are you doing laundry in the dishwasher? Oh, I can't use the washing machine. Yes. He's really been acting up lately. What the hell? What's going on down here? This is washing machine stuff. Go back upstairs, suck bag. Oh, that's racist. The NFL experience. That sounds cool. Kid, you're the best. Sign with me and you're gonna make millions. Griffin, get out there! Ow! It's his knee. Doc! You'll never play football again. Too bad, kid. You was gonna buy me a house! Oh. Now I have headaches. I'm gonna save my brain for science. All right, Chris, here they come. Now remember what we practiced. Now what are you gonna call the one in the middle? Isosceles triangle. What? Come on, Chris. We worked on this all night. I know. I also had a geometry test. Well, how'd that go? Oh. I'm your brother, Chris. We're a team, and we've got to look out for each other. Like Owl and Costello. I mean, a fella's name on first base. Who? The fella playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. Who? I'm asking you who's on first. Who? That's what I'm asking you. Nothing will ever be funnier than misunderstandings. You know, I should go over there and fight for Pam. Absolutely you should. You should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Unless they're women. Because if she really wanted you, you wouldn't have to fight. <laughs> Never fight for a vagina you haven't been inside of yet. It only ends in pain and, and syphilis. Oh, painful, terrible syphilis. Reoccurring, too. <laughs> We're gonna edit this out. Give me liberty or give me death. Oh, well, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. Who cares? You're my dog. Everybody gets naked in front of their dog. Besides, you're always naked, except for when Lois dresses you up in that rain gear. Okay, everyone in the car. We're going to Martha's Vineyard. Do I have to wear this on the ferry? Yes, you do. What about Peter? Why, why doesn't he have to wear this crap? Peter's in his crate. I'm actually relieved. The ferry would be overstimulating. All right, I, I don't care if I die. I mean, maybe in my next life, I'll come back as an airbag or something. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Peter's got you. Don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Is my wife okay? No, the ski boots that was in the back flew up and chopped her head off. You can turn your blinker off now. It's very annoying. Well, I guess this is it. I'm gonna die here. I'll never get to grow old and become an across-the-country grandparent. What is this? It's a Skype. A snake? No, a Skype. Snipe? No, it's a Skype from your grandson. Steven? Yes, he's right there trying to say hi to you. What movie is this? It's not a movie, it's your grandson. My grandson is in the pictures? You did this yesterday! Don't holler at me, I don't understand anything. I'm very frightened. God, he's right. I'm a disgrace to my species. Like that gumball machine traffic cop. Oh my god. O'Connor's a disaster out there. It's not his fault. He was a great gumball machine. They just shouldn't have promoted him. Yeah, you know, I bet I can. I mean, I'm the guy who figured out how much eye contact a band should make during a guitar solo. Yeah, we're in sync and showing others how much we love the song. Okay. Okay, it's time to turn away now, Vince. Come on, we got a lot of song left. Turn away. Look at something else. I'm glad you didn't listen. We now return to Downton Syndrome. Well, if I must accept your proposal in order to break the entail and save my family's estate, then yes, I will marry you. Yay! Well, look at you, Vinny. It's like you're already part of the family. I don't know, fat man. I think you're jumping the gun. I mean, crucifixion seemed great at first, too. Why are you doing that? Because I'm mad at this guy? I'm mad at this jar of pickles I can't open. Nail it up! We're making music, living the dream. And to think, just last week, my only creative outlet was picking hockey fights at work. 
Griffin, I need these shipping reports filled out by 5 o'clock today. Damn! Damn! Oh, looks like the Dodgers just cut Pena. Might be something there. Peter, put the paper down. Okay, kids, off to school. Now, I know it's picture day, but we can't afford them anymore, so just run behind another kid when they're getting their picture taken. Well, I suppose I could talk to them, see if they'd go for it. But why wouldn't they? I mean, it wouldn't be the craziest idea in show business. When I grow up, I want to stick my head through a circle at the beginning of movies and roar. <laughs> What's up now, bitches? <laughs> now, calm down. People make mistakes. Just look at the original design for the first hybrid car. You guys, that was my mom. She said that daddy broke his leg. How? Now, apparently, he got hurt at the mall. Carter, please stop doing that. We need to get you some new corduroys. No! None of the other boys are wearing corduroys. I want dungarees. You're going to get hurt doing that. No, I'm not. I'm the champ at doing this. Ow! You jinxed me! Ah, oh, damn it! Hey, call that beeping cart that carries around the fat black people. <sighs> wow, Stewie, we're gonna work perfectly together, like Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Watson, a clue. The intruder has tracked in a red clay, which can only be found near London's homosexual bathhouse. Amazing, Holmes. How did you know that? Just from, like, books and stuff. We now return to the outlaw Josie Wales. Should we bury him? Nah, leave him for the buzzards. We will never stop fighting for this booth. This booth is my home. I was born in this booth. I was married in this booth. My children were all conceived in this booth. Hell, I witnessed every significant historical <gasps> event in my lifetime right here. I was in this booth when the Challenger exploded. Yep. Oh, my God, no. I was in this booth on 9-11. Oh, my God, no! I was in this booth when President Obama was elected. Oh, my God, no! <laughs> oh, nothing like a day at the park surrounded by overcompensating divorce dads. <laughs> wow, look how high you're going. What an amazing day this is. <laughs> is Mommy spending $2,500 a month on you? Because that's what I'm sending Mommy. Because this new Peter just sounds all wrong, like a pilot without a calming voice. We've now reached a cruising altitude! If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains! Ah! We have to get out of here! Ah! Ah! Gotta get over there! Come on, you guys, let's go! Ah, oh, man, I hope we don't catch him doing something freaky. I'm still weirded out from when I walked in on that masturbating Eskimo. Dinner time, Tickalo. Oh, my God! Doesn't anybody knock? Well, what do you expect, Lois? I didn't want to come here in the first place. I'd rather be back home. You know, I could be riding Seesaw with Joe. Yay! <laughs> uh, I guess we're stuck. Hang on, let me empty this bag. Yay, gross. I'm going to ruin him, just like I ruined that magician's act. People, people, people. This man drives a Saturn. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Tough don't sell in curly toe shoes. Leave me alone. Why don't you go bother the cologne salesman at Macy's? I want something I could wear on the street that a broad can smell on a fire escape. This is awesome. Finally, I'll have an interesting silhouette for the beginning of my spoken word jazz. I left my poem at home. I mean, you're the one who's always saying, never alter the past. Oh, come on, Brian, let's be honest. I frequently alter the past. All right, so uh, I guess we'll split the bill 13 ways? Hey, Judas, he ordered like five margaritas. All you had was a salad. <laughs> oh, my God, Peter, that might be the dumbest thing you've ever done. No, the dumbest thing I ever did was open that can of whoop-ass. <laughs> Lois, why did you buy this? It was on sale. We're here to talk about Judaism. So where do they think they go when they die? Well, you should try asking the rabbi. Although I should warn you, you might not get an answer. So where do Jewish people think they go when they die? Where do you think we go? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Why do you think you're asking all these questions? I just, I just really want to know what happens. Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a sham just so you can get extra holidays off from work. Oh, gotta go. It's Buchwoch. The Travel Channel presents Backpacking Through Europe with a Bow-Legged Man in Short Shorts. 
Hello, come, let's see some beautiful sights together. Hello, tree, thank you for shade. Hello, Ooh. mountain cat, thank you for controlling local rat population. Hello, windmill, thank you for the cheese ride and ball cooling. Next week, bullet trains. Hello! Have you looked in the mirror? You look terrible. Eh, what do you care? It's not like you have to look at my face when we have sex. Not since we started role-playing. Peter, I'm ready. Okay, now put on yours. Wow, isn't it weird that we both picked Mario Lopez? Yes, Peter, it's very weird. Yeah, it shows that we both go Latino, but soft Latino. You shower with your dog every day. Do you and your dog use the same soap? If so, one of you is damaging your hair. Really? Mm -hmm. Dial Cross Species is specially formulated for both humans and dogs. You'll like that it gets you clean. He'll like that it smells like beef. That sounds great! Jim, are you showering with the dog again? What the hell? I'm closer to you than I am to my own right hand. Oh my god, you like scrambled eggs too? Here, go ahead, have some. Whoa, that's a big bite there. Slow down, buddy. Oh my god, oh my god, he's choking! Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you, thanks for coming. Why you thought it was appropriate to show up here, Cheryl, I have no idea. And now, the History Channel presents the guy who lived in between the Hatfields and the McCoys. I'm just going to get my mail, and I'm not going to ask who killed my daughter. It's water under the bridge. I'm just getting my mail. Lois, I know how many beers I can drink and still be able to drive. I figured it out. No. Ah. No. No. Seven. Six. I can drink and still be able to drive. I figured it out. Seven. Six. Well, Mort, I hope I can trust you. I've been lied to before. Well, I'm off to work. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> what an idiot. I hate him so much, I'm shaking. Peter, will you keep it down? I'm trying to look at lamps I'll never buy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. What are you doing? Well, I just found out about these things called apps, so that's kind of all I do now. This one's a cool bowling app I got. Oh, yeah, strike! Peter, your phone's streaming to the TV. You're clearly watching porn. Can you turn it off? I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm, I'm gonna finish. Just go over there. Oh, We're gonna be no. fine, Lois, you and me. <laughs> you stuck me there, right? It'd be like that. Ooh, I feel like I'm crying, but, like, out of my neck and back. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Looks like Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Oh. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's Whoa. the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. <laughs> couch it is, I guess. Oh my god, the couch is gone. Where no. the hell is Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. No. Oh no. Come on. Hey that's... man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period. Dude, that's not a brag. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're yes. right. This could never work. <laughs> like porn movies before sun. <laughs> God, I like it here. But what am I doing? <laughs> I don't have a fancy house. I'm living a lie, like FDR. <laughs> and so I oh, say to oh. you, America, we <laughs> are going to win this war. We're going to end this depression. And there's no reason to suspect that I cannot walk. God bless America. <laughs> And cut! The newsreel's over. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, gentlemen. Now, if you'd kindly kick me into the closet with the mops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sheesh! Ah, must be a yell man. Shut up. <laughs> huh, got a new email here. And it's from a Nigerian prince. It says he's got millions frozen in an account. All he needs is a hundred grand to pay legal fees, and then as soon as he gets his money, I get a million bucks. Yeah. Oh, and he must need it quick, because there was like a bazillion typos in that email. You gotta oh, send no. that money. You think so? 
Absolutely. I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than a guy on his wedding day. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, gulp on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye, being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money. Lois? <laughs> Money. I'm alone and lost in the mall. I haven't been One scared since married. the silence of the lamb. Hey, um, let's move in together. Say something. I've had that happen. I've had that happen and to I me. I turn around and I don't know what happened to my wife. And now I'm all alone and I'm just so scared. Okay, do you want to go look for your wife or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. Wow. When I find her, I want her to go... Wow. Mm, that's oh, what I that must be Jerome. Yeah, bro. What the hell's Jerome doing here? We didn't order any drinks. No, he and I got plans. We're gonna go down to Carver High School and look at that mural of black achievement. Mm, they got a manila folder taped over Dr. Cosby's <laughs> face. What? <laughs> oh. Cleveland, you didn't tell us you had plans with Jerome? Some things are my business. You don't tell me when you play with yourself. Well, if you checked my Twitter feed, I wouldn't have to. No! 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 Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. <laughs> what? No! Oh! Oh, what? Uh, no! Why was Cleveland just taking it? Took it. Bro, don't just let that happen! He's a bottom. Cleveland is clearly a bottom. Cleveland, you can't. Hey, yo. Cleveland, come on, bro. It's yeah, worth the second dial. dial. It's worth the second dial. We got multiple space. Bro. What? You see that? Yeah, I saw you, that. You didn't see it. I saw that. You didn't. What did you see? He freaking the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey. Ah! It's all That's not fun. I found Joe's dad on the internet, and he just emailed me to say he's coming tomorrow. All right, great, but remember, this is a surprise for Joe. Why are you looking at me? Because you're terrible at keeping secrets. Well, I'm not. I'm great at it. Like when I was an OBGYN. Well, I got What's the that? results of your ultrasound, and I got some news for you. Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, okay. Well, it's not breathing. Oh, where you are, wow. Dad? Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Wow. Oh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B and B. We're so happy you're staying with us. Just a reminder: we ask that you not use the DVD player, but you can watch any of the VHSs. We have Clear and Present Danger, Son of the Mask. Oh, and here's most of a puzzle. Okay, well, I don't want any of that stuff. Fine. Well, if the phone rings and we're not around, just take a message. I'm kind of on vacation. Oh, and just a heads up: the dog doesn't like men. Now, we serve breakfast from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'll skip breakfast. Uh, everyone eats breakfast. I'm on vacation. All the more reason to treat yourself. The house specialty is a half-chewed trout we yanked out of the river with our teeth. That is the best, Jeff. <laughs> I believe you kept your sister a secret. She's amazing. Yeah, she's crazy strong. Like Superman on a date. Oh, he has a sister? Yeah, I wasn't here, but I heard her scream, so I came flying oh in and found her. Oh, my God! Like this. It's weird. Same cause of death as those three guys in that local public bathroom. Unsolvable. What? <laughs> now that this is settled, maybe you and Glenn can put this behind you. No way! How am I supposed to be friends with someone who's in love with my wife? Quagmire is dead to me and needs to be dealt with in an appropriate manner. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame! Oh no. Shame on you. <laughs> what do you get? Shame, shame, shame. Yep. Yep. Shame on Q. This was serious, but it turned into something fun. Hey, great idea bringing the couch out here from your den, Peter. Yeah, Lois and I dragged it out here last night for a little hump sesh, so I figured I'd let it dry. Couch.
That's one of those words that if you say it over and over, it starts to sound silly. Joe, you need to take a class on small talk. You're not going to believe this. I'm in one. It sure is cloudy today. Good. You could have also responded to Janet, who said her son died. I'm sorry your son died on such a cloudy day. Oh, wow. Where are you going? I'm going to Quagmire's to get some hand-me-downs. His dad mom sent over some boxes of men's clothes from back before the old chippity property. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? No, no. What are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Hey, Brian. Mom took the car. Can you give me and my friends a ride to field hockey practice? Um, I'm kind of helping Stewie with an email to Delta. Please, Brian. It would get them out of the house. Well, that's true. And I gotta do something, because they're more annoying than ants at a picnic. Would you mind turning that down? Mm. And you're not supposed to be grilling. Mm. I know you can understand me. (laughs) (laughs) Are they doing a rap video? Type of sick shit. I really thought that they was doing a rap music video. Jeez, you are not gonna let this go, are you? You're as stubborn as a four-hour erection. Well, she's long gone, so uh, you can go too. Oh no, you got me for another three and a half hours, pal. Go ahead, seek medical attention. I'm not going anywhere. You oh. can't stay. I'm chaperoning my daughter's Girl Scout dinner in 45 minutes. Oh. Well, tuck me into your waistband and try not to pee up your shirt. Yep. Yeah, that's real. Keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramped in my style while I'm macking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. That works. Because you just had to stop for ice cream. Then you get in there and you order like you never heard of food before. Oh, coffee fudge swirl with Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, I wonder what's in that. You just listed off all the ingredients. Everything you just said is what's in that. Stewie, I think you're overthinking this. No, you're right. You're right, Brian. I'm with Rupert now. I just need to forget, Oscar, no matter how intense our relationship was. Oh, no. What? How is that intense? That's amazing. Yes. It's like you took all the colors that exist and said, here's a new one. I'm not gonna lie, I was dating this one girl. She used to sit there and just watch me play butt naked ocular quest. Don't ask me no questions <laughs> about why I was playing virtual reality ocular quest ass naked with a girl I was dating in the room while she was watching me. Don't ask questions. You know, uh, 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 we gonna edit that out, man. Y'all, y'all did not need to know that nasty shit. Well, good. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Yay! <sighs> this is more painful than sitting through those parent-teacher cheetah meetings. So, in short, your kids are all doing great. Keep reading to them every night, and I think we're going to have a great year. So, unless there are any questions, thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah, I I noticed the hot lunch menu doesn't feature any gazelle. (sighs) I'll bring that up to the board. Yeah, see, I I heard that last year, and (laughs) here we are again. (laughs) Stewie, relax. You're getting all worked up over nothing. Says the guy who freaks out every time a fire engine goes by. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Peter, Peter, you hear that? I'm matching the sound. Is what I'm doing helping? Meg, are you okay? You guys, I've tried everything, but it's hopeless. He's going to kill me. Oh, I can no. already picture my funeral. Are you really going to kill her? Thanks, didn't want to pay for the hole. Well, I'm awake now, Brian, and I know what I gotta do. Well, before you do anything, for God's sake, put some clothes on. Brian, calm down. In some countries, this is a compliment. Is it? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Oh, please, come on. It's just something I threw together. No! 
Why do they I'm have to Ryan be in more than any of you, but at least now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now, PBS, PBS presents Albino Children Are Normal. Oh, no. So, with the exception of not being able to go out oh. in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes. The moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. We now return to Miracle on 134th Street. Oh, my God. I left my phone in my car. Wow. It's still there. Bro, it's like that in the hood. One time, I left my hot Cheetos and my phone charger with my PSP inside my really rundown 94 Honda Accord. And I look out my window and somebody's inside of my car stealing it. Now my windows didn't roll up all the way. Somebody had like pulled them down and was inside my car stealing my shit. It's really like that. It's wild. I haven't been this grateful since I met the Sane Hatter. Excuse me, how do I get back through the looking glass? Oh, yeah. Take two lefts, and it's the first door on your right. Cool. Great. Thanks for not giving me the runaround. I, I asked that guy over there, but he just told me a bunch of rhyming nonsense. Oh, yeah. He's like a well-known dick. Oh, my God. Ten losses in a row? This whole season's been one long, bad dream. Yeah, like that one where I walk into the bank and I ain't got no clothes on. What? Sir, what are you doing? You have no clothes on. Ah, must be having one of those dreams again. Better wake myself up. Oh, thank God. Well, time to apply for this small business loan. I'm sorry I dragged you around the world looking for God. I guess it was a huge waste of time. Like bringing a married guy to Vegas. So I'm thinking steakhouse. Do they have salad? I can't eat red meat. Yeah, then we hit the tables. I'm already down 30 bucks. Maybe the sports book? Is that near Caesars? I gotta get Brandy a Celine Dion t-shirt. And then the strip club. Guys, we have a 7 a.m. tea time. And are we just gonna bail on the Hoover Dam? Peter, come on, are you serious? If Joe or I found this, we'd want you right alongside us. Well, yeah, we're like peas in a pod. Wait, wait, don't go in there. He's doing his podcast. Oh, that's cute. Now that I like. What do you think about this, you old bag? Oh, oh. no. What? What are you talking about? Just that when you were younger, you were as passionate and full of life as him. No. Hey, boys, catch me if you can. That's terrible. That's disgusting. There's no, that's not. Oh, crap. I didn't yeah. realize they had bikes. Yeah. <laughs> what are they going to do when they catch me? We never go anywhere anymore. We're getting stagnant. What are you talking about? We go places. We took that helicopter tour of Tucson. Wow, I've never seen so many boats not near bodies of water. That park is all concrete. Look, there's a dog tied to our other dog. I think that guy with long hair is a lawyer. Look at all those students running for their lives. Oh, there's the concrete park again. You know, Quagmire, I feel kind of bad leaving the family like this with Thanksgiving coming up. I mean, if I'm not dead, who's going to carve the turkey? I don't understand! She's not fat! What? I, I figured the day you came home with a girl, we'd have to back her through the garage. A little further, a little further, a little further. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, all right. Now, do you prefer Fatty or Miss Boombaletti? We now return to Slightly Too Early Comedy Club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. Gotta kill him. Gotta we now return him. to 11 angry men and one developmentally disabled man. Okay, the vote is 11 for guilty and one for kitty. Oh. All right, let's keep talking it out. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, Your Honor. We find the defendant, kitty. <laughs> Peter, come on, get dressed. We're late for church. I don't want to go to church. I always feel like that priest has it in for me. Yeah. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Butt of Christ. Ah, Lois, trade me. No. Do you like crab? There's a knockout crab place right around the corner. The hell are you doing? I'm using my knowledge of the local food scene to get this woman to go to bed with me. 
Well, now we know. I can taste what he eats. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with him. But I guess love does funny things to people. Look at Forrest Gump. Hi, Forrest. I know you just got back from Vietnam and you love me, but I'm gonna go run a train with this group of Black Panthers I just met. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. I know you came all this way to New York to visit me, but I'm gonna go do blow and have sex with a bunch of stockbrokers. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. Now that I have the most contagious and incurable disease known to mankind, I'll finally have pity sex with you. Okay, Jenny. And I'll mow the grass and raise the AIDS, baby. Yeah, pretty much. Female nature animated right there. And women can do anything nowadays. I guess you're right. But it's not like it's the 1950s. So, I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right. And I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. That's all very impressive. We'll keep you in mind. Let's see. Pointy <laughs> boobs, medium pointy boobs, not so pointy boobs. Not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. No boobs. <laughs> this is just one of no those things titty. he won't let up with. Like when he no was guest titty. hosting inside the actor's studio. Jeff Daniels, what is your favorite Care Bear? I, I I don't know any of the Care Bears. Right, but if you had to pick one, who would be your favorite? Well, like I said, I'm not really familiar. You can just say the color. I know all the Care Bears. I, I don't know. The blue one. There's like 11 blue ones, Jeff. Are you here to dick around or you want to do inside the actor's studio? Do you know what I did last week? I time-traveled ahead to Christmas so I wouldn't have to wait all year for the new toys to come out. Wow, good timing, little fella. This just came out today. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew that already. Would you like to donate an extra dollar to the Quahog Food Bank? Oh, sure. And would you like to come home and clean my toilet while we're both doing stuff for each other? No. All right, fellas. Open mic at the library. Your first gig. Go get them. Hey, do I have time to get a drink at the water fountain where the water does not crest above the dispenser? Sure. No. That, it really used to be like that, too. And how you gonna play the previous open mic? Cough. How you gonna play oh open mic God, at the library? Quick, my, we're on our way. We gotta celebrate like girls in their twenties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my God, we are so random. The nerve of your dad taking the fun out of Christmas like some kind of gluten-free Santa. Hey, hey, what's in these? I'm okay if it's like coconut flour, but anything with actual grains, I can't do. I'm not sure. Well, who is sure? Well, maybe I can stir up some quail or pheasant with my patented bird calls. Birds, quail, pheasant! Come on out, I'm a bird of the opposite sex who's interested in mating! <gasps> Did you hear that? We're gonna get laid! Peter, what are you doing? I'm watching this awesome show, Brian. See, they took all these colors, and they're making them all live together in a beach house. Now, the red one is sleeping with the green one, and the blue one thinks he's gonna have a career in music, and the yellow one is just a total bitch. Peter, that's just a channel that's gone off the air. And we'll be right back with more Color Bar Beach House after these messages. Oh. Ah, uh, this is my favorite part of the game, when two drunk guys, each holding a baby, get into a fist fight. You're stupid! No, you're stupid! Oh, now their wives are getting into it. They're gonna put their cigarettes in their mouths and bump boobs. You got no class, you bitch! No, you got no class! And now here comes security to kick out the wrong person. Come on, Miyagi, take that karate outside. <laughs> we did it! Oh, man, this is my biggest accomplishment since my 1920 solo flight across the Atlantic. Viva Pierre Griffon! Incroyable! Don't look in there. Don't look in there. It's all craps. All right, we got to put toilets in these things if we're going to be in them for more than two hours. That's real. Uh, Chip, I am going to show you all kinds of cool stuff. My Hot Wheels, my lawn darts, even my new musket. Pina, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I thought I heard a noise downstairs. Go stall them for 20 minutes and pray that it's not too damp in here. <laughs> all right, this is my home, and a man's home is his castle. <laughs> halt, wench! State your oh. business. Peter, will you please put down the drawbridge? I got a car full of groceries. Mm. Mm. Anything else? I also went to the video store and got Garfield, a tale of two kitties. <laughs> Trust me, you should take my advice. I mean, I'm the guy who told Michael Chiklis to wear tight shirts.
I'll tell you anything you want. Just get your boobs out of my face. You know the difference between you and me, dirtbag? No matter how muscular I get, I will never be muscular. Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? Anyone? I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes! Supposed to stick together, like goatee guys at a barbecue. Do you mind if I stand next to you while we eat standing? No problem. Hey, let's go grab some good beer, even though we brought the bad beer. And these two barbecue scumbags formed a lifelong friendship until their deaths at the ripe old age of 52 in separate ATV accidents. That's pretty. Now you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? Oh, God. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. God, I can't get any peace and quiet in this house. Well, now you know how I felt at Mardi Gras. Hey, keep it down. Trying to get some sleep up here. Show us your boobs. Oh. My boobs? I, I don't think I... Oh, my jewelry. Well, I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. <laughs> yeah, Trust like me, that. Mom, I know what I'm doing. That's what your father said before he took that walking tour of Providence. This is where a homeless man ate the finger of another homeless man. This is where some teenagers beat a gay guy to death. This building used to be Irish. Now it's Cambodian. And this is where fake tour guides throw rocks and steal tourists' wallets. Oh, yeah, I read about this part on Yelp. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, I did it! I'm back! Oh, damn it, I left my chapstick in the past. So, as you can see, the fiscal the projections fuck? for the fourth quarter make this thing a slam dunk. Any questions? Not about my cow waters. All right, then, looks like we got ourselves a deal. This is cause for celebration. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm not driving. Peter, the map is a joke. You're being played for a fool, like George McFly. Hey, Lorraine, whatever happened to that guy Marty from high school? Don't know. Never saw him after the prom. Really? Sure you didn't run into him, oh, say, about 16 years ago? George, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that our son, who you insisted we name after that guy Marty, looks exactly like him. You think I'm an idiot? That I wouldn't notice that our son is a dead ringer for the guy who fixed us up? Mom, yes. Dad, I accidentally set fire to the living room rug. I am not going easy on him. <laughs> <laughs> that's too realistic. <laughs> well, that stuff sounds exhausting. I'm just being honest, like George Washington. George, did you chop down our cherry tree? I cannot tell a lie. Yes. And what is this pamphlet I found under your bed called the Boston He Party? <laughs> not mine! <laughs> God, I'm so nervous. Party? Thank God Stewie's too little to understand. Look at him over there, playing that board game. Ah, three. Okay, one, two, sorry. Sorry, the board game that teaches you to be a dick. Oh, thanks, Mr. Quagmire. I'll take any help I can get. I haven't been this scared since my dad stopped showering for six months. Great meatloaf, Mom. Thanks, honey. Hungry! Hungry! Pour food on my pile! Okay, Peter. Here you go. Mm, I will assimilate this new smell into the larger borg of my smells. Boy, Stewie was really upset about the Christmas carnival being canceled. He's been acting out all week. I'm sure he'll be over it in no time. Besides, how much trouble can he cause? He's a baby. Oh. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps. Like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A Minor. Wow! And you still won't give us an Emmy? Come on! If Modern Family did that joke, you'd be carrying them around on your shoulders. Wedding DJ florist? Because, Chris, it takes time to plan a perfect wedding. You don't want to jump the gun. You know, like when you respond to a text too quickly.
My wife's going to be reading to the 12 of her short stories. We now return to VH1's Behind the Music, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. It must have been around 1979 when animals started snorting crushed up pieces of felt. Got pretty ugly. Me had big problem before me found God. He like threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. All right, Peter, I'm leaving. Bonnie invited me to the shooting range. What? Yeah, Bonnie says she goes every week. <laughs> I think next time you should bring someone else. You see, my wife thinks I'm an idiot. She's always making me feel small and insignificant, like John Goodman's heartbeat. Honey, my inside left boob stomach did that thing again. You mean your heart? Um, I don't know about any of that, but I think I should eat something. Oh, look, you can go to Oral Roberts. Oh, and there's Anal Roberts. Boy, that is a tough, tough place to get into, Lois. That is tough. But once you're in there, you'll be surprised how much you like it. This is great, Dad. I know. I'm having even more fun than when I... I mean, than when we went Fiona apple picking. Meg going to college. You know, I always thought she was going to be one of those ladies who wears a jean jacket and hangs out at the bar in a chain restaurant. Hey, you know you can get a slice of pineapple in your burger here. Hey, Jimmy, another water. Call Miller Light Water. Jimmy knows me. He knows that. Come on, hockey team! This one's on me. Merry Christmas, Meg. All right, but you need to cool down first, Lois. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. Oh! I forgot to make it look like an accident. Oh, these guys are a little sharper than my old family. I still remember our duck-duck-goose disaster. Foreigner? We're not foreigners. Sorry, Mrs. Griffin. Not only did you destroy your passports, you renounced your citizenship. When did we do that? Oh, I did that on the Italian social networking site. Shut up, you Facebook. Doctor, what about Viagra or Cialis? What about them? Well, if Peter could try them, they might help with this problem. Oh, Those are no. man troubles? I've been prescribing them as antidepressants. Everything's just getting harder and harder. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. I got stuff to do anyway. I gotta get ready for my bar mitzvah. Come on, you think the fat man's gonna figure out those clues? He's an idiot. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yes, I mean, he's the guy who put all those little bald men in incubators because he thought they were babies. Look at you. You came early, but you're going to make it. I'm a senior vice president at an investment firm. Oh, someone's a fussy britches. Don't you remember how much money your father wasted so he could make grand staircase entrances? Hey, is Peter here? Uh, hang on. Peter! Why, Glenn Quagmire, it's been ten years if it's been a day. This is just stupid. Uh, maybe sometime you could take me on a ride-along with you. Show me the neighborhood. Yeah, I don't take people out on ride-alongs anymore. I, I had a bad experience with Grimace. I gotta be honest, I can't get a beat on you, man. Sorry, Mort, but this is a cutthroat business, and we need someone tough in our corner. Like Indonesian kickboxer Agus Banwadi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Disappear. Disappear. Come on. Come on. It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Now that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. We now return to Saving Private Ryan, brought to you without commercial interruption by Mazda. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> zoom, zoom. <laughs> you tricked me. You're as bad as those predators on the internet. And I thought maybe you and I could finally go fishing like we've been talking about. Ah, oh, sorry, Chris, I can't. I got insanity practice.
Ah! 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 Pinwheels! Pinwheels in my head! Voices! Angry fish! How's he doing? Not good. He still thinks this is practice of some sort. <laughs> we now return to At the Movies with two guys who watch the films on their iPhones. Good evening. First off, we're going to review Paul Greengrass's Captain Phillips. What did you think, Bill? Well, it got off to a great start, but when it was my turn to play words with friends, it really took me out of it. Well, that's a shame because visually... Ooh. When we come back, the guys will review American Hustle. Hmm? Let me out! You can't keep me in here forever! I have too many plans for the future! I'll never win a Nobel Prize! I'll never be a member of Parliament! I'll never get to express disappointment with young people while putting in my dentures! Stupid younger generation. Back in my day, we had Katy Perry, Justin Bieber. That was real music. And although I will never get over the pain of what you did to my son, I forgive you. Because I believe you are sick and in need of help. Gay. Mr. Griffin, this is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Oh, yeah. Did I get it? No. Oh, I will no. kill your son! <laughs> your son is dead! <laughs> Here we are, Christmas night, 1776. Oh, the father Jesus. of our nation, George Washington, is about to boldly cross good the Lord, Delaware. What's on his arm? Right the Those back. are water wings. He was terrified of the water. That was good. Easy! Mm -hmm. Like anything in the universe? Absolutely. Brookstone massage chair. Really? Are, are you sure? Yep, never been more sure of anything in my life. Well, except one thing. Good evening, sir. Would you like to hear our specials? No! Pizza! Uh -oh. mm. Twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. Nothing is off limits. Geez, Peter, you're more excited than Adrian Peterson at an arboretum. Daddy, what kind of tree is that? Man, I want to beat you with so many things around here. What? Hmm? Ugh, this is going to be a bigger disaster than Y2 Gay. Three, two, one! I hope my dad's not watching no! ABC. No! All right, we're just going to take a quick cap smear. Don't you mean pap smear? No. At this hospital, we obtained the sample using beloved British comic strip roustabout, Andy Cap. Hello, love. Let's have a smear. I'm not letting you do that. You can't even see. That's all right, bird. I goes by smell. Oh, Wait, there's a lot of sex and drugs at these things. You sure you're ready for this? Of course I am. I'm tired of living my life in a tiny little box like some sort of claustrophobic turtle. Everybody hates how you dress, right, Joe? Sorry, I stay out of fashion debates. I've been burned one too many times. Hey, guys, notice anything different? Yeah, Minetti's got a hot new look. The whole thing, it just yeah. works. <laughs> Minetti! She's coming here was a bad idea. Like when I brought museum behavior into my home. Oh, wow. Oh my god, you can hear everything. Excuse me, we do ask that you don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. This is idiotic. You're never going to find a turkey in there. Oh, I'll find one. I mean, you're looking at the guy who found a fountain of youth. It's very far away from here. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I can't change you back. This whole endeavor was doomed to fail. Like an Asian guy going to a salon. I, I want to have my anus breached. What? This is Did for the say bleach yeah, or I mean, breach? I'm sure it'll be a doctor. I'm scared. I'm still keeping all the gifts from the baby shower. You had a baby shower? Oh! Now this makes it real. Oh, no. oh my goodness. That's enough cake for you, Mary Beth. Uh. Oh, girls, it is so nice to be part of a group again. And I'm having the best time. Especially yesterday when we all got mammograms. <laughs> if what? I have cancer... We're all going to Brazil. Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm going to need to see those forms. What? That's wild. We should go check it out right now. Ordinarily, I'd say no, but that adult kickball league is coming in for drinks, so let's get out of here. Guys, check it out. I've got flip-up shades on my flip-up shades. Dude, you are the worst. Hey, we're all the worst. All right, you know what? I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. 
counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts, I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! How did that put someone to sleep? Well, Peter's been doing his best, but lately he seems more focused on marketing his erotic advent calendar. All right, kids, let's see what's under Christmas. Oh, another puckered anus. Mm. What? We now return to DJ Butcher. DJ Butcher. Hey, bro. Hey, you requested a song or ordering some sliced meat? Meat. Half a pound of turkey, please. You want a sample? You mean like a slice of turkey? Or like a short section of one musical recording that's been digitally repurposed to be part of a new song? Uh -oh. I don't know. I might quit this job. <laughs> I think we can really knock it out of the park. Oh, we sure can, Lois. We're going to be a great team. Like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells. Yay! You sure about this, Peter? You bet. As sure as I was when I created Lady Gaga. All right, listen, fella. Your game is confusion. Zip, zam, zoop. Nobody gets a straight look at nothing. <laughs> you were right, Peter. This kid's a thief. We did it. Well, look at us. You know, we make a great team, guys. Like Huey Lewis and the Jews. You don't need money. Sorry, the bed's breaking up. Uh, what? Don't need money. Yeah, We now return you. to an 80s teen movie at a realistic high school. You going down at that karate tournament. I don't think so. You guys do karate? You're both losers. Hey, dude. Can you pass me a speck of spaz? Sorry, bro. All out. You want a cube of fruish? No, I'm not into fruish. I got to tear a laser dragon. Can I Ooh. handle that? I don't Is this drugs from the know. 2400s? <laughs> 200 years in the future, everyone will be getting high off a of flim flam and zip zoop. Right. <laughs> and they'll be all in strips. Uh. No more pills and strings of shit. Right. <laughs> no. Can you? Come. What the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. They always need new TSA screeners. Really? Wow, that'd be great. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. And thanks for taking the time. Most people aren't usually that nice to me. Ugh, gross. <laughs> you're making a smart move, Quagmire. Like I did when I wanted to get out of that boring meeting. Third quarter projections indicate our sales will be down 40%. Why don't we go through the profit-loss statement line by line from the past six quarters, which will offer us a good cost analysis comparison that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward to the next fiscal year. Oh, no. Hey, guys, I gotta leave. I got a nosebleed, and uh, I don't work here. <laughs> ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school, either. I even failed homeroom. Peter Griffin? There. Oh, no. It was awful. I didn't even get to go to my high school prom, but my mom did. Hey, is Crystal ready? Oh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, listen, have my mom home by midnight, okay? How about I plow her in the limo and have her home in 20 minutes? Oh, come on, Ronnie. She bought the dress. Uh -huh. Well, for the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Oh, wow. Mittens. What? Wait a minute. Come on, Meg. Your only chance at fame would have been as the dog on Frasier. Well, of course I respect my father. He's a vet. Woof. Not that kind of vet. <laughs> you can't always get things right on the first try. Just look at Snoopy's original happy dance. Hey, you having a good time tonight? Uh, oh, uh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We now return to Rocky Dennis the Menace. Oh. What the hell? Oh, it's you. My wife said I'm not allowed to get mad at you anymore. Well, we Koreans do not age. We pay Cambodians to do that for us. Mm. I'm seven year old. I work for Suji. We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> this is Rational Geographic. Great job, right. Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Oh, God, no. Uh -huh. Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> mm-hmm.
Why don't you guys all come to my show tonight as my guests? Are you serious? Backstage with Taylor Swift? Well, that'll be even cooler than when I was in that remake of The Princess Bride with Bill Cosby. Now, one of these has the I.O. cane powder, you see, and one of them makes you go sleepy by with your mouth open. No! Uh -huh. One of them makes you go sleepy by with your mouth open. <laughs> Pills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you guys all come to my show tonight as my guests? Are you serious? Backstage with Taylor Swift? Well, that'll be even cooler than when I was in that remake of The Princess Bride with Bill Cosby. Now, one of these has the, the I.O. cane powder, you see, and I one of them makes you go sleepy by with your mouth open. <laughs> oh, my nightmare dog is dead. Marley and me. Oh. Hi, I'm that prostitute you guys hired to seduce your friend. Oh boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. Well, we gotta do a test run to make sure you're worth the money first. Right. It's gonna be a very rigorous shoot. Just gonna tell you up front. It's gonna be a lot of hard work. But uh, with perseverance and a little bit of grit, elbow grease, mm -hmm. possibly other types of grease as well, we'll be able to get through it. Block off the rest of your week. The rehearsal's very extensive. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm that prostitute you guys hired to seduce your friend. Oh, boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. But perhaps we can make other, other arrangements. arrangements. Yep. Mm -hmm. Damn it, this is awful. How could I have not noticed sooner? I mean, it's more obvious than when George Takei was in the closet. Hey, George, how are you? I am a heterosexual. I love vaginas. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight? Hopefully choking on some lovely lady parts. Oh, numbers. Never All right, that sounds fun. Part. See you later. I am a heterosexual. <laughs> you know he is lying because you, you, there's no parts on a lady to choke yeah. on. I've never choked on a lady part, ever. You realize the harm you've caused? Harm? What are you talking about? I'm making the world a better place. Like when I was the Instagram police. Oh, no. Sorry, lady. Gotta crop the church. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Mm. I will take this. <laughs> oh, no. And cut away complete. Well, beat his dick in the car. <laughs> Sorry, Lois, I honestly thought this was going to be fun. Like when I won that sex contest. What? What? First again. Wasn't even close, was it? Uh, no, Peter. It wasn't even close. Yeah, you are terrible at this. Now, why don't you clean up and go get the champ a Gatorade, huh? That's why, as a man, you got to turn your sexual inadequacies into a little game. Mm -hmm. Bitch, this wasn't for pleasure. This was a race. Uh, <laughs> you get mad at me because you came in last again, bitch. That's your fault. That's funny. Huh? You better start cheating at the starting line like I do. <laughs> Sorry, Lois. I honestly thought this was going to be fun. Like when I won that sex contest. First again. Yeah. Wasn't even close, was it? No, Peter. It wasn't even close. Every yeah, time. you are terrible at this. Now, why don't you clean up and go get the champ a Gatorade, huh? Hey, awesome. Oh, oh, we haven't done anything as a group time. since we went bird watching. <laughs> Guys, look. It's the yellow headed puffin face. Ooh. It's a solitary creature. Its feathered crown is designed to scare away mates. It's known to swell its face to assert dominance when threatened. What does it eat, Peter? Gin and whatever's in the bowl at the airport bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we now return to the Terminator. <laughs> you got me on that one. I've been sent here from the future. I have to have sex with your housekeeper to save humanity. What? Bring me your housekeeper. I have to have sex with her now. I'm the Terminator. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I am a machine. Every second I'm not having sex with a housekeeper. Robots are killing people in the future. Okay, I finished for the day. You lied to me. You do have a housekeeper. Let's go make a large-faced boy. Yeah, no offense, Peter, but I don't know if you should be running a school. What are you talking about? I'm a natural leader. That's why I'm so good at leading Simon Says. Simon Says, leave the band. Oh, no. Nah. Come on, Brian. You and I should probably rehearse. We've got a show in 20 minutes. Yep. Fine, go ahead. It's not going to be the same. Like Cheers wasn't the same when they brought in Kirstie Alley. Norm! No, I'm... I'm Rebecca. Oh! Oh, my oh, God! God. Uh-oh. This means I have an awkward phone call to make. 
What? No, no, it was stupid. What, two guys going to homecoming? I, I assumed it was a goof this whole time. Take it out. I'm ugly and unlovable. Well done. All right, you guys ready for church? Church? What are you, an idiot? It's the first snow of the season. We're going sledding. Please, can we, Mom? Well, I mean, it's Sunday and... Come on, Lois. After all, sledding was the second passion of the Christ. Eat this, for this is my dust. Oh, no. Brian, please. If you do this for me, you'll be a hero. Just like King Arthur when he pulled the sword from the stone. And that's when you ask for the blowjob. Right at that point. Please do this for me. I was a word. <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe I missed it. Jeez, I hope I don't end up stuck in here like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Robert. Perhaps you should push with your shoulder and not your fist. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> it'd have been funnier if he would have said finger. Rabbit, you think perhaps you should push with your shoulder and not your pinky finger? Mm. <laughs> oh, I've never played <laughs> baseball before. <laughs> oh, come on, Chris, you gotta do it. If you don't, you'll regret it. Just like Jesus' friend, Evan, who bailed on the Last Supper. Aw, they did a painting? I would have gone if I knew they were gonna do a painting. They always be like that. Wow, this place is cool. Yeah, what do all these buttons do? Like, what's this red one? Well, that's a voice filter, so the passengers always think the pilot is a 60-year-old Midwestern white man. What? Mm. That's impossible. Hi, y'all. This is Cleveland. Good afternoon, folks. This is Captain Dale Clark up here on the flight deck. We're way up in the air. We've reached our cruising altitude of 37,000 feet. Y'all get ready to watch Big Mama's house. Our in-flight entertainment today will be Under the Tuscan Sun. Oh, uh, I like that. I hear it's good. What? Oh, damn it, being deaf sucks. I'd rather be stuck on a Disney cruise. <laughs> oh, 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 don't eat the shrimp. Oh, oh. oh, no. I mean, it's a tough decision. Like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you, that's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. Damn, she... I have to start trusting myself more. She a freak. Mm -hmm. Wow, a freak Dad, freak. I guess that means Grandpa's your new boss. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want to work for him. I'd rather work for Dr. Frankenstein. Oh. Igor, I did it! Hold on. You discovered the power to create new life, and you created a guy? So, I should have made a woman so I could have sex with a corpse? I don't know, man. You just shouldn't have made a guy. Man, you guys think Joe's as happy as he says he is just doing all that desk work? No way. He's just putting lipstick on a pig. This is called Crimson Sky. What do you think? Mmm. Harold? Get this off of me! What are you doing in the women's department? Uh, waiting for you. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I need yeah. you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Mm. You know, I have a good feeling about this, Brian. After all, you certainly can't be any worse than the last roommate I had. What the? Please don't cry. She's already very angry at me. Peter, mm. where are you? You will wash your hands after you poop. <laughs> <gasps> Oh! I can't believe it, you guys. This is the biggest surprise since the last M. Night Shyamalan movie. Two tickets for the M. Night Shyamalan movie? Wow. Really? <laughs> and you, you're done. <laughs> Clean up your lock. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. Oh, yeah. Ah! Ah! Yes, you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location for 40 years, and never once have I broken a lamp. Good day, sir. Ah! God, I hope he's got insurance. Of course he's got insurance. He's been at this location for 40 years. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Cancel my husband's life insurance. He's been in perfect health for 40 years. We're selling the lamp store and going to travel. We need this after losing both our children. Good day, sir.
Good morning. I'm your instructor, Cody Spraytan. Are you ready to pedal so hard your periods go away? Yes, it's not healthy, but it's convenient. Now we're going to sprint while I tell a distracting personal story about how I almost met Adam Levine. Hey. Ooh. It's 2016. It's Vegas. I'm coming off a horrible breakup. First pool party in, I see who I think is a dirty man with tattoos, and I'm like, ugh. But then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And mm. I've learned Ooh. that every office needs a worst employee that all the other employees can look down on. I can be that. Oh. I can be that guy. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, hey, Francesca Louise Alessandro. Good news. I found your Instagram. Did you see the 90 photos I liked in a row last night at 2 a.m.? Also, who's at Becky Fitness 96? And can you tell her to unblock me? Holy crap. This place is amazing. And just think, this is where Helen Keller used to eat when she went here. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. What? Good morning, girls. Helen. <laughs> Deal! I have read what? about this exact case. That's good. On HotsyTotsyNazi.com. That's not good. Do dogs hey, really do that can shit? Can robots do cocaine? Mm -hmm. What? Nothing. I what? Just, you know. Can they what? get cocaine? Whoa. Uh, Check it out. A sorry board uh, game. Let me bro. see it. Three pieces missing. How'd you do that? I can shake anything and figure out what all's in there. It's a black people superpower. Mm. You got 11 periods left. Oh. No. At least you didn't see she was pregnant. Right? That shit is always. 11 periods left. Hey, how'd you get the money to rent this boat anyway? Oh, I got a part time job at Target. <laughs> okay, technically, I work at the weird in store Pizza Hut. The Target mm. in store Pizza Hut. Feed it to your fat kid while you buy off-brand tennis shoes. Pretty much. Wait, well, you agree with me, right? Well, my wife and I do yoga, so I don't have to pick a side. Fine. We're leaving in a huff. Oh. Cleveland, you leaving? Nah, I'm going to stay. Um. Oh. Hey, so can I meet your wife? Now nah, she's playing with a trains. There's tension in our relationship, but I can't say why. Why? I can't say. Oh. I can't believe we're what doing big fuck? little lies, and I'm the... Train guy. Ooh. Oh, my voodoo doll of mom. Yeah, totally throw. It never worked anyway. Ow! What the hell was that? Oh, keep. Ah! Mm. A minute. Since there's two of us, this means we can finally catch our own tail. I got it. No, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. Oh, man. Yeah. There they are. Get him! Now people saw you do it. Oh shit! I've never seen this. I've never seen this either. What the heck? Right, we've got to get out here. Bring in Morty, thank you, Morty. Yeah! Oh, Stewie, my hero. Wait, what? Now, is, so is he Sean Connery? Man, look at them. They make such a Or the Terminator. Guy, like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> Uh, what? Sorry, Skippy. <gasps> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is Chris wearing a nicotine patch? You know what? It's just like I said. He and Chris go together. Like peaches and cream. Peaches. Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! Oh, shit. Did we laugh at one of those? Yeah, you laughed at one. Fuck, what did I laugh the at? The Pac-Man one. Shit! You didn't laugh? Uh-uh. Damn it! Uh-uh. Damn it! Oops. Sorry, Skippy. Is Chris wearing a nicotine patch? You know what? It's just like I said. He and Chris go together. Like peaches no. and cream. Peaches. What? Peaches, I'm sorry. Damn it! You could have at least given me some warning. At least a, a, a shoulder tap. I know. You're right. <laughs> it's just that you're so beautiful, I can't control myself sometimes. Aw, <laughs> good. That's out of you. Perfect response. Have it again. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, no. Perfect response, man. You're so beautiful, I just can't control myself sometimes. My response be like, 
Hey. <laughs> Joe, what is Bonnie's favorite food? Well, she must like ground glass because I keep finding it in my food. Cleveland. Pass. Quagmire, what color are Kimmy's eyes? Shaved. So, sorry, what, what, what is it? What's the question? <laughs> That's real. Cats. What color are their eyes? Kittens Shaved. and cats. Cat lady. Lots of plastic bags. Yeah. Tissues in, in my sleeves. Velcro yeah. sneakers. Yeah. Funny dish towels. Yeah. Huh? Good. Come, Meg. It's time to go. Go where? Say goodbye to Meg. Really? What is going on? Who's Ned? Ned! Welcome back to the Stuff You Should Just Spend the Money On podcast. Today's episode, expressing your dog's anal glands. Yeah, you really don't want to DIY on the anal glands. Just spend the money. It can't cost more than, I don't know, 30 bucks? $30 is three months of Netflix. So don't watch The Crown for three months. I like The Crown. What if I like The Crown? Watch it all in one weekend. If you don't finish a Netflix series in a weekend, that's on you. Lois, can we just, can we just kiss a little first? You know what? I think it's actually starting to clear up on its it's own. Oh, Black Betty, bam a lamb. Hey, Black Betty, bam a lamb. That's horrible. My nigga said, can we at least kiss first? I say he should have went for the full dinner, man, because no man deserves that shit, man. Hey, Peter, would you get off your phone? Sorry, young girls keep killing each other because they think I'm the slender man now. Oh. are Are you telling them to kill each other? It's just a goof. Oh. Not the babies. Whoa. Oh, I gotta leave. How did you kill so many of them? Stewie. It's, it's hard to get one baby in like one place. Usually he was able to get like 12. How did he, how did he murk? <sighs> he murk so many at once. <sighs> is that just a thing that happened or is it like the happening or? But it was understood I'd grow up to be a tennis player like my father, and his father before him, and his father before him. Ooh. We came from a long line of tennis dicks. I had six brothers, but they'd all sliced off their hands opening a tennis ball can. Possibly no. the most dangerous object known to mankind. Hey guys, oh. anyone want to play tennis? Llewellyn, no! Wow, Mom, you Lose. are looking fit. Yeah, you're Bro, ripped. That, that, you that, look that, like that. Madonna. Oh, no. You want to say that again? Who oh. do I look like? Oh, I'm shit. From modern family. That's right. Julie Bowen. That's the appropriate answer. Yo, what do you think of no. Lois's new look? I say this in the most respectful way possible, but don't you think she looks a little manly? manly? You're awesome, right? I'm going to do something really nice for Rupert. Show him how much he means to me, Annabelle. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no I, I don't want you to no. kill anyone. I'll let you know. There you yeah. What are you doing up here? Oh, hey, Bri. I'm making a collage for Rupert. We've been firing on all cylinders lately, and I just wanted to let him know I what? care. That sounds stupid. Does that sound uh, Annabelle nasty. doesn't think so. Right, Annabelle? Oh, Holy shit. Yeah. What is that? What the <laughs> yeah, it's over. She's so? worse than Chucky. Oh my god, your baby is adorable. Is so it? So cute. Let me is guess. It Ten months? Vaseline? Oh my god, my new look so is shiny? working. I'm back into months. What? Chris, what's all that lotion for? Are you a scientist, Mom? I'm a scientist. It's for masturbating. Oh my god. I'm dead. I, you, come on, bro. Uh, no. no matter how nasty I think this show is, it keeps getting nasty. What the hell? That's why I like this show so much. It just keeps getting more and more jacked up. There's a lesson you need to learn. What are you talking about? What lesson? I don't need to go to AA. I'm a social drinker, not an alcoholic. Tuh, yeah, that's like saying rappers are really poets. Isn't it? I'm not saying she's a gold digger. And that's real. But she's not messing, messing with... Messing with any broke. Who is she messing with? She's not. Uh, Shouldn't have tried these tricks on Denise Bryan. But if you ask me, she got lucky. Because now she's dodged the bullet of being in a relationship with a loser like you.
Well, you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm -hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. <laughs> Mr. Pewdiepie, you're having enough. <laughs> that's, right. that's funny. That's funny. That's actually pretty funny. You know what's so funny? It's because we both heard that from black women. Mm -hmm. That's why we so. So the fact that I they know. Just, I, I might just make a skit out of that. Bro, that's real. And when did I tell you? Uh, exactly when I told you. Mm -hmm. There's nothing more detrimental to a black man's relationship than her black female friends. Cause she gonna listen, unfortunately, and then go, cause they ain't gonna pump her head up full of stupidness and then she gonna come and try to relay it to you like it's fact. And it's gonna be like, look man, what you and, and your female friends chirp about, that's, that's on y'all, man. Bro, and it'd be funny to me because the friends always be single and talking about like all the men they can't get and how much they hate men. I'm like, why would you listen to these they ain't doing good. Why would you listen to them? But yo, yeah, we uh, we both got to do some push-ups, man. That we both laughed on that last one. Yeah, I know. We did. Well, you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time, time ago. ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly, exactly what, what just happened. happened. <laughs> Mr. Pewdishman, you're having an affair? Ew! No, no, this is my sister. Ew! Oh. No, 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 I I'm impotent. Ew! What? I mean, she looked at me while I did it to myself. Ew! <laughs> I mean, she's a man. Ew! <laughs> Shit, I just it, laughed. It's too me yeah, you just laughed. God yeah, that's damn. That's crazy. Oh my god, that was not my fault, uh, man. That scene was funny, man. Yeah, that was ugly. <sighs> man, that's well, yeah, what happened to your situation? Mr. Pewdishman, you're having an affair? Ew! No, no, this is my sister. That's Ew! No, 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 I'm in <laughs> And remember, wish it, want it, buy it. All right. Brian, settle down. You're worse than that guy from Penguin Publishing. You want to get a book published, don't you? Well, yeah. Yes. Well, if you want to be in black yeah. and white, black and white's got to be in you. <laughs> Do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. <laughs> shit! Shit! Dude, go shit! On. Get to it. Get to it. Shit! Go crazy. Shit! I didn't even know I was laughing! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Come on! I'm down! And remember, wish it, want it, buy it. All right. Brian, settle down. You're worse than that guy from Penguin Publishing. You want to <laughs> get a book published, don't you? Well, yes. Well, if you want to be in black and white, black and white's got to be in you. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> She's probably going to do it, too. Right. That's hilarious. <laughs> Meg, could you come here, please? What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Oh, no, this is... Uh, oh, What's oh, fine oh, to me, ma'am? Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. Sorry, I'm having a flashback. I stole Meg's cutaway. Oh my god, you stressful. look so cute! What is that, spray paint? Yeah, those little punks want a war, and now they've got one. Hey, here's someone who might understand how you feel. Huh? Hey, how you doing? First day being pink? Yeah. Welcome to hell. Dry ass comedy writer wrote wrote that, bro. That's some dry ass shit, dude. I didn't understand that joke. <laughs> that shit was. I mean, I was the Pink Panther. I get it, but it was like, huh? This was dry as fuck. Is he in hell or something? Or like what? <clears throat> People of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie, and your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tried to tell you, but you... <laughs> that was funny. 
That was good. That was what. You guys having a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear the threesome. That's why it's funny. You can hey, hear. Bruh. Hey, that's OC, bro. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm going to be doing. Yep. Looking depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. <laughs> hey Chris, um, I was wondering if you'd like to come to my party tomorrow. I love to. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Got nothing. Sports. Birthday sports. No, just sports. Oh. Uh, that okay. love doesn't count. It was at ourselves. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Maybe not invited to my party. Oh. Oh. Just don't, what? as long as it's not like racist, I won't laugh. I don't know. Yeah, that's not racist. I don't know. That's not racist. Who the heck did you just say? Go, go, go. 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 Mm. Look, if you want to grab a drink with me later tonight, I'd be happy to tell you some. Oh Hell my yeah. god, I would love to. Look at me, huh? Stepping out in my town with a big celebrity? <laughs> well, I think you're exaggerating. It's almost as if Lois doesn't even know that this business female is looking to spit shine her uh, clam for her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, that's that's her, ta her, her taco sauce. Yeah, she's yeah, she's gonna uh, muff add some mix her muffin to her taco. She's gonna mix her muffin for her. what? Oh. I can't go any faster! Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk oh. to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play Crazy Snakes. What? I, I can't believe it. That's the worst thing I've ever written. Not according to Penguin Publishing. In fact, you're supposed to call... I've seen that scene so many times, but every time it makes me laugh. Every time! Like, this is terrifying! How can they put this out on te television? I can't go any faster. Where you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies? Oh, and my God. Like he said snake. glass of wine. Someone needs to Photoshop EDP445's face on Herbert's. But you hear that he was showing females online his poop because he thought it was sexy? And wondered how, why he couldn't get any adult bitches. That's why he couldn't get any adult bitches. Come on. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I can't believe it. That's the worst thing I've ever written. Not according to Penguin Publishing. In fact, you're supposed to call the chief editor. Oh. Penguin Publishing. One moment, please. Sir, I have a Brian Griffin on the line. Out. Get out. Get out now. I told you she was going to do it. They brought it back. I told you she was going to do it. Uh, well, look, uh, just goes to show you everything in life is is for sale. Yeah, I mean, uh... <laughs> Two con men like us working together will be set like a passive-aggressive alarm clock. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun's been up for like an hour. No, 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 you don't have to get up. Let your wife do everything. Just keep sleeping. You're a good husband. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't fantasize about your contractor who's already downstairs working on... Well, I can't really figure out what he's working on. Oh, I know. Your wife. Jesus! And what are you wearing? What? These are my concert khakis. Beat him! Beat him in 6-8 time! And don't let him escape to the completely unoccupied ladies' room! Uh, no! Please, uncles who voted for Gary Johnson, leave me alone! <laughs> Oksana by you. Oh. Baby girl, no! Oh. Baby girl, don't no. you know she's pregnant? You know she's pregnant. Okay, you know we can go in now. <laughs> Anyone can get mad. Even Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Excuse me. My flapjacks was supposed to have a Superman S on them. Oh. Are you huh? mad? I... I can't tell if you're mad. Very mad. This is unacceptable. <laughs> What's the point of having a million dollars if yeah. you can't be super mad? Very mad. Okay, well, we'll fix it right away. Is there anything else I can get you? Yes, a big ambulance. I am stuck in this booth. <laughs> Even higher than my dream of winning Socks on Karate. <laughs> Socks on Karate? 
Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. Oh. Point. Winner! That was the coolest Ow. thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I know. I've never done the first time the coolest for thing I've ever like seen. Like when I finally... I did it! Mom! Come look! Mom! Yeah, be right there, Stewie. Oh! Where's the bush vodka? Where is it? Where what is the... it? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Hi, <laughs> Stewie. Uh, you uh, your kitty cat. Uh, <laughs> uh, Minions 3? Yeah, in this one, Gru has been replaced by Harvey Weinstein. Oh, you like working for bad guys? I'll show you a bad guy. Now you touch it. You oh, have no. To touch. No. Banana. <laughs> they ruin every family vacation, just like he ruined our trip to La La Land. She about to watch porn. I can tell. Mm. Don't ask how. Hey, guy who's never been uncool in a movie. I requested Dominic the Donkey like an hour ago. It's Christmas time and I want greaseball songs. It would have been funnier to me if he would have led into that line by saying, hey, dude who's more than likely not even had sex with that girl yet. Can you care? <laughs> and you just play something that doesn't suck. Right. I'm with my wife. <laughs> right. nah. And the other day, I even got to hang out with a bunch of other famous mascots. So you, uh, you really oh, make all those what? cookies in that tree? Like the tree is wood. Like how does the tree not catch on fire? You want to cool it with that drumming? Anyway, do you have to water your house? Because I would think that, you know what, let's... That's funny. Okay, look, the reason why this is so funny to me is because when I was younger, we was living like real, real rough, real poor like in the hood and whatnot. And when my mom would get her food stamps, we would always have to walk like three miles down to the corner store because we didn't have a car to get groceries. We would have to go to the corner store and spend five times, because you know, yeah. cereal at the corner store is like $10 a box. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if you go to the grocery store, it's like $3 a box. Yeah, yeah, it's way cheaper. So we would have to spend the $10 a box because we didn't have a car. So we would spend all of our money real quick getting food and we'd be broken shit for the rest of the month. Basically like just holding it together until she got paid on the first of the month when she got her food stamps again. So the only cereal they had up at the corner store was Frosted Flakes. Uh, That's it. That's the only cereal they had. We had to eat them out of those styrofoam plates. And whatnot. Let's just forget the conversation and just pose for the picture. It's only wrong when a dude does it. By the way, Tony, I'm sorry your wife was shot by Donald Trump's children. Is that the truth? Oh. All right, I'll give it a Bro. shot. But it's not going to be easy. I had a hell of a time getting off sugar. Chris, can you pass the syrup? Oh, you want the syrup, old man? Hey, yeah! Jesus! Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah, nice attached head, Meg. Body Ooh. throw potatoes. <laughs> Winner declared. Oh no, that's funny. Why do you still Kinda. read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news, like the police blotter. Huh? Most of these arrests are Cleveland, and the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. <laughs> You're right. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. What? That doesn't sound right. Hey, Chris Brown. I just wanted to say oh. I'm a huge fan of your music. This is just going to make me listen more. Oh, hey, Ray Rice. Would you mind pressing lobby? What do you got, potatoes in your ears? I said press lobby. And when you die, the most you'll want written about you is he was a good boy on your tombstone. And even that will be a complete lie. I couldn't do it. I couldn't it lie. Mm. When is Brian coming back? Oh, never. I'm having him euthanized. Euthanized? Oh, oh my on God! In, Come on! Yeah. Oh. 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 Some action movie type shit. Where's my family? You're the nice, you're the nice. Where's my wife? 
bro. Terrible with introductions. You guys probably gonna see him in some videos. This is Beanard. My job sucks now. Mm. It's worse than when I was a dinosaur walker. What's a dinosaur walker? Hey, what? Pick that up. Pick what up? That. No. That, that was no. there. No, you were looking at your phone. Oh, I wasn't. Uh, yes, you were. Sir, this is a neighborhood where we respect the rules of society. Oh, society now. Sir Thomas More up here. Good for you and your neighborhood. I'm gonna take a picture of you and post it on oh, Facebook. Oh, great. I hope it gets a lot of likes. You know what? I forgot my bag. Oh, you forgot your bag. Yeah, I forgot my bag. But I'll be sure to come back oh, and pick yeah, this so up. Oh, yes, I'm sure you'll be back. Look, I'm only here to create an amusing comparison well, to my current you. job, which I am at this moment describing to my family in my living room. So, mm -hmm. technically, you don't even exist. Well, how do you know I wasn't telling my wife a story and you're a figment of my imagination? Ooh, I, I can assure you that is not the case. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more Greg in the Window. Well, oh, I'll no. be. <laughs> Greg in the Window, brought to you by Never Bought Male Jewelry. Yeah, you told us you would do anything to lose weight. I lied! I just want to be free! Like a recently divorced man with no kids! <laughs> This is nice. This is better. <laughs> that is so true, bro. You married the wrong female, man. That is 30, 40 years of getting sucked dry and emasculated and like no vagina. Oh my God. I've never been able to last more than shit, more than eight months. Eight months is, is where I've always drawn the line. I just <laughs> throw a female and all her kids out. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Huh? Yeah? You ain't fucking talking shit? I'm paying all the bills, and I know you fucking, so it's just something else. Here you go. You just gotta live with him. There you go. You gotta... No love lost, but they have definitely no love still. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, that bad. sounds awesome. Like a pair of Pete's headphones. Oye, como va? Mi ritmo, bueno pa goza. This new year was a bigger surprise than when they're making fun of a celebrity on Saturday Night Live and the real life celebrity walks in behind them. He tapped the SNL actor on the shoulder! Look how surprised the SNL actor is! Oh, he's completely busted! Ah, how is this happening? Ah! My phone! My plane has Wi Fi! Mm -hmm. Besides, I couldn't leave you at home. Last time I did that, the kids walked in on you looking at internet corn. <sighs> oh, God, what I wouldn't do to that. Mm. What? No, 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 it's not even mine. I just clicked on it. And come on, it's not like it's gay corn. <laughs> it's gay corn. It was baby corn. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that shows the robot chicken. Robot. Good night, Mother Club. I loved robot chicken growing up, man. These zoning laws are infringing on the rights uh, of citizens. I might interrupt for a minute, I'd like to point You've out You've had that your time. Let someone else I speak. haven't said a word. It was that guy. Don't look at me. I can't get a word in edgewise. Well, then who the hell's been talking this whole time? Oh, well, that's oh, a hard question. Forget it. I've missed too many other opportunities. There he is. Took you long enough. Just what we need. Hey, guys, I'm coming in. Ah, come on! Oh, God. Oh, boy. Yeah. I am not going to hear the end of this. You jackass! Now you've done it. Idiot! I know I don't fit here, but I'm just going to settle right in. Like yesterday, I started a lovable gang of Cockney pickpockets. All right, boys, the best targets are old, yeah. rich people. Here's one now. Go get him. Yep, go get him. Oh, no. There's yep. no police here to help me. I hope you don't find the money strapped to my thigh. What? These Texans are socially backward. What the hell? Politically, they're all stubborn as a mule. Nope. Sorry. Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. What? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Of course he was. He was the star. Nope, he... you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common knowledge. Nope. He was on the nope. cover of no nope. People magazine nope. when the movie nope. came. Everyone nope. knows Kevin nope. Bacon was a star nope. of Footloose. No, nope. it was nope. a huge movie. Nope. He was the nope. lead. No, 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 no. It's like arguing with some females, man. Ah! Ah! You ain't shit. Come on, come on in. Your family's waiting in here. There are toys and a puppy and food that's not served from warming trays. How to prank your foster child. 
I say that having grown up extensively in foster care and having had a pretty good experience. Well, I wasn't touched, so it was a good experience. <laughs> We don't edit that out. <laughs> Come on, yeah. you gotta want it. Yeah, you gotta oh, want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Oh. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys, oh. and a puppy. <laughs> guess you don't want a new family, and toys, and a puppy. That's Betty. Oh. No, no, no. Yep, Come on! Care. Come on in! Your yep. family's waiting in here! There are toys! And a puppy! And food that's not served from warming trays! Yep, oh. Oh. Come on, you gotta want it! Yep, fight hard for that Oh, family. you gotta do better than that! Yeah. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family, toys, and a puppy. Yep. <laughs> we are gonna raise more hell than Hellraiser! No! <laughs> hey, honey. You want some salt for your steak? Yeah, sure. <laughs> gotcha. That's more salt than you wanted. Remember those sweet, warm New England summers? Remember sipping lemonade underneath a shady tree? Remember when you hit that pedestrian with your car at the crosswalk and then just drove away? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> but Pepperidge Farm ain't just going to keep it to Pepperidge Farm sell free of charge. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies. Maybe this whole thing just disappears. <laughs> we now return to Rodney, King of Queens. Rodney, did you take out the trash? Um, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, she didn't. Besides, it's bound to go better than my deep sea training. Well, we got a long time in this decompression chamber. Uh, you guys mind if I turn on the radio? Peter, don't! Oh, nice going, oh, Jack. Look what you did. Um, oh, hey, oh, hey, hey, use the hell this. out of me for trying to brighten your day with music, hey, all right? You, you idiot. Use your brain. You, you, you're an idiot. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, man, we're going to need some butter or something. <laughs> I'm more of a sellout than you were when you did those Butterfinger commercials. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Do. Come on, Lois. Sometimes kids can be a handful. Look at Gregory Peck's kids. Are we there yet? It's crowded yeah. back here. Stop touching me. Your leg is rubbing up against mine. <laughs> hey, quiet down or I'm pulling over. Stop breathing on the window. You idiot. That's condensation. <laughs> it's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be great. Oh, are we watching a movie? The lab results are back. You've tested positive for nymphomania. Oh no! What should I do? Take two of these and call us in the morning. Well, now that's not going to what? help her nymphomania. It's yeah. only going to exacerbate it. For the Bro! Uh, My homie said it's only going to exacerbate it. <laughs> It's on the outside. That's it. I will come back there and so help me God, I will hit you with my ring hand. Oh man, this is gonna be great. Oh, are we watching a movie? The lab results are back. You've tested positive for nymphomania. Oh no, what should I do? Take two of these and call us in the morning. Well now that's not going to help her nymphomania. It's only gonna exacerbate it. Ooh. For the rest of my life, I'll be as lonely right. as Pat Robertson right. and Jerry Falwell after the rapture. Damn it, Jerry, why are we the only ones still here? I don't know, we hated all the right things. Now there's nothing left to hate. I'm gonna hate that rock. No, I'm gonna hate that rock. Let's both hate that rock. I hate you. I hate you too. Every time. This is the greatest oh, show no, I've seen in every years. Time. Not like the last time I was at a comedy club. I hear this guy's hilarious. He played Kramer, you know. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, no. It's more disgusting than when you gave me that Christmas gift. Oh, what is it? A little birdie? Uh, oh my god, it's dead! Brian! Oh, oh, Brian, this is disgusting! Oh my god, get it out of here! I'm, I'm sorry, I thought, I thought you'd like it. Brian, I love it! I'm gonna call you Sticky Head. <laughs> I love you, Sticky Head. What kind of music do you like, Gloria? Hippo hop! Woohoo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude, those animals are so funny, they make me want to merge without looking! Oh, no. Yeah, Rumsfeld! 
This is even worse than when you ate that bubblegum out of the garbage. Brian, did you get into the garbage last night? Uh, no. Why? Don't lie to me, Brian. I'm not lying. <laughs> My nigga, how your ass gonna blow a bubble? <laughs> right. Ashley Simpson. my day off every day watching that clip right there. Every time I watch that clip, I laugh! So everybody just gets to stick their big chef spoon into my comedy gumbo, eh? What a no deal! Sir, we have a best man giving a toast at a wedding, and he is just bombing. Put it up on the screen. Jim's, Jim's so clumsy, it's like he's got two <coughs> left feet and left hands. Oh Permission to go to the bride is a whore file, sir. Permission granted. Anyway, if Sheila was a road sign, it would read Open Trench. <laughs> Damn! That really works! Please go out with me. I'm just trying to make Neil jealous. No. I promise I'll pay and everything. Yeah, Ooh. uh, that sounds cool, but I'm gonna be in the hospital that night. If you run into a chick that looked like Meg and she offered to pay, go ahead and do that! Might as well, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Damn! Oh. 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 He's the biggest, toughest guy in this house. Yeah, this isn't good. Well, I don't like to toot my own horn, but no. I believe I hold yeah, the that stake wasn't the right oh. answer. That wasn't the right answer. Yep, there it is. Yep, never the right answer. Yep. Oh. My house now, bitch. Now who's the funniest? I know my way around a joke. Oh. Oh. For God's sake, Dad, have some humility yep. and save your life. Yeah. Oh. It looks like Michael yep. Jackson's is coming right yeah, out. Yeah, I like this one. Yep, take them. What is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting. <laughs> no, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Oh, God, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh, my God. Are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah. And I think I might need some right now. Oh. Get Ooh. out now or stay and get weird. Your call, warden. Though by many they're abhorred, he proved people I've adored. Even though they killed my lord, I need a Hey, Meg. Are you going to take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? Oh. <laughs> yep. Yep. There it is. Yep. Yep. Now, I'm not saying violence is the answer, but I am saying that violence definitely solves these type of issues. It's always different when you're consistently shoving your foot into their ribs or slapping them in the face in front of their family and friends. It's always different. <laughs> I need to write a poem about that called It's Different and not feature 2 chains on it unless he's down to do a verse for free. Gosh, he looks expensive. Oh, this is one no. fine day to be no. nude. No. Yeah, this is one fine day to be nude. No. The birds are saying Clinton have a wonderful spring. And people walking <sighs> by can stop and look at my thing. Oh, this is one fine day. To Liberal Jobby Chaser! Oh, <laughs> well, if you can't laugh at yourself. Punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Punch yourself in the face. Yeah. All right, he doesn't know what he's doing. You fat, so punch your baby in the face. You got your poison? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. You, you didn't do it. You didn't <laughs> do it either. Okay, okay, all right. Well, this time we really have to do it. Okay, all right, you okay. ready? Okay, okay. One, one two. two. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, you want me to kill myself? 
yourself and you're not going to. You suck. You oh. suck. You suck. No. Oh, good morning, honey. No. That feels really good. That do, what, what? Hey, hey, what the hell? You're not the same giraffe from last night. Get out of here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, 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 no. I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigans. Hi, my name's Max Weinstein. My car just broke down. May I use your phone? Now my troubles are all through. I have a Jew. Hey! Oh. Hey, I'm gonna eat y'all. That's messed up. I'm gonna eat that hairy leg. I'm gonna eat that one too. If Jaws sounded sus as shit, that's what this is. I got a whole bunch of rows of teeth to chew you with. Dinah, Dinah, Dinah. Really? Oh, now, wait a minute. I did have a chubby kid on a raft earlier today. It's okay, though. I've been swimming a lot lately. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. You know, sometimes I feel like someone should just crucify, crucify Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Oh, my God. God! Shut up! No, you shut up! I'm Judas! Pontius! This is so weird because just today I was thinking about how I wanted to find the Son of God and nail him to some wood. Well, let's go find him and kick his ass. That's so let this be a lesson to everybody out there watching this. Even the Lord had haters. So whatever you're doing out there, someone's going to talk something. Your job is not to give any shits because no matter how much good you do, someone's got an issue with it. Or just you in general. It doesn't matter. So just keep it pushing. Don't even pay them no mind. They don't even exist. That sounds swell. No, see? Look at it. Think I'll go for Damn. a walk outside now. The yeah. summer sun's calling my name. I'm a super huge mega lesbian. Oh, good. You'll fit in with the other mega lesbians. My heart's on fire. Hail Vira. No. Giddy up. Boom, ba, boom. Bro, this lesbian skit starting to make my penis soft, bro. For real, I'm, I'm losing what little bit of erection I did have a second ago, man. I was at like 1 14th mass a second ago, and, and now I'm just back at zero, because this this is, you know what I mean? Like, oh, mow, giddy up, boom, ba, boom, ba, ba, mow, mow. A bit of breaking news, a local family is forced out of their home by ghosts. Who are they going to call? <sighs> Ghostbusters, Tom? No, Diane, they're insurance company. That's just stupid what you said. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's gonna help you. Oh! He was just hungry, man, that's messed up. Huh, didn't realize Greenberg was a Jedi name. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Honestly, you can't blame Carter Pewter Smith on that one. The dude was dressed in a suit, so he was probably there like trying to sell religious pamphlets and get him to abstain from sex like I do. So you gotta either release the hounds on him or open up the trap gate floor, plummeting him down into the Brimy Deep, AKA a cave that you keep whatever the hell that creature that was trying to kill him from Star Wars was in, you know? And that's a, a drum that we all can beat our too. And that's all I gotta say about that, you know? Hey, Jillian. Congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. Oh, are they showing? Oh, it's a really thin bra. Oh, oh God. Derek, that's pretty good. F I'm gonna go back and see that again for research purposes, not because of the breasts. Oh, hey, Jillian. Congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. Oh, are they showing? Oh, it's a really thin bra. Wow, Derek, that's pretty good. One more time, just for good measure, because I was trying to hear what she was saying. Oh, hey, Jillian. Congratulations on your upcoming nuptials. Oh, are they showing? Oh, it's a really thin bra. Wow, Derek, that's pretty good French you speak there. He also speaks orange. Mandarin, honey. Mandolin. All this singing is contagious. I'll sing, too. <laughs> Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West. Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. Yeah! <laughs> now, what are your thoughts on a wedding singer? Oh, I thought that maybe I would just DJ the wedding myself. I already made a playlist on this. A box of Junior Mints? This isn't an iPod? Your Junior Mints play MP3s? My iPod is chocolate? 
Well, be that as it may or not be that, I was thinking I could be your wedding singer. We now return to The Ghost Whisperer. I don't understand. Why do all you ghosts come to me? You're, you're really... <laughs> you have a knack. We, we, we just trust you. Man! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rewatch this breast clip for you guys. Cause I know you guys wanna see it. What type of content creator would I be if I didn't give the viewers what they wanted? Not for me, cause I've given The Ghost Whisperer. I don't understand. Why do all you ghosts come to me? You're you're really I mean you, you have a knack for we, we we just trust you. Men form up Cripple Tron! What the f is a Cripple Tron? Cripple Tron! What? 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 No! no! Nobody puts baby in a corner. I do, because I'm her father and she's 16. What are you, like 38? 41. What? <laughs> Jewish? No! Yes. When she moved to America, no! her family changed their name. It was originally Hebrewburg Money Grabber. Meg's as cool as the other side of the pillow. <gasps> Billy D. Williams. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the cool side of the pillow. You've had a hard day. Rest that weary head of yours and drift on off to dreamland. <sighs> Works every time. The hell it do. For me, I'ma need that same thing, but I need for it to be Rihanna after she's done being pregnant. <laughs> That's so true that I'm cry laughing. So Rihanna, if you ever run into me somewhere, just whisper rude boy into my ear and we'll go get some in and out murder. Fascinated, blah, 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 tragedy for our Republic. Uh, oh, look. Ably performed by the entire ensemble. That's us. Is, That's that all of us. All right. What? The doctor will be in in a few what? minutes. What? The police what? are gone? Oh my god. We're finally safe. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. We yeah. 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 Did Trump get reelected? That females really actually started requiring relationships to do doggy style onto them? Like, what reason? You know what I mean? Like, I. Casper, go long! That's racist. Ugh, sorry about that, man. Are you dead? Yeah, whatever. I was gonna off myself on Tuesday anyway. Oh! Yeah, this Judaism thing is gonna be better than I thought. Oh, this is an even bigger jackpot than when the Emperor figured out the formula for great Star Wars dialogue. Something, something, something <laughs> dark. Something, something, something complete. <laughs> I'm busy. I set up a video camera last night so I can prove what? to mom and dad. Kissing again? Wait, what? No! This Star Wars thing is extremely true, by the way. I used to use it on my parents when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the time, they used to give me presents and extra allowance money. Something, something, something dark side. Something, something, something complete. Hey, Chris, you want to climb this kissing again? <laughs> I'm busy. What? I set up a video camera last night so I can prove to mom and dad that the evil monkey is real and I want to see what I got. That could be worse. It's not as bad, you know what I mean? Just at least they're not molesting him this time. Or any... Oh! Jews are uh... gross, Lois. It's the only religion with the word ew in it. Is she about to suck some... I mean, what, is she about to... Is she about to suck on something, or... Why? Huh, nothing. Wow, deodorant! Are you sure I'm old enough? Oh, I think so. I'm gonna make you a little less gross every day. Well, here he is. The evil monkey! Do you believe me now? Holy crap! It is real! Oh my god! I thought I was the only one!
Meg, we're do we're doing we're doing Chris's monkey. Oh my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar. How can you not like me? Uh -oh. Okay, I'll tell you. You are the worst person I know. You constantly hit on your best friend's wife. The man pays for your food and rescued you from certain death, and this is how you repay him? And to add insult to injury, you defecate all over his yard. Peter, how are we gonna get past the guard? Lois, I think I just got an idea. You see that guy with the overcoat? He's tall enough for us to sneak in behind him. Come on! Wow! Ugh, look, there's Brody Jenna. God, what a douchebag. I can't believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. What? Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Don't ever uh, okay, her. so Don't uh, ever you're free that. to go. But Don't we're cool, right? I've been reading up on things that sound sexy. Oh, Brian, I can't wait till after dinner, because then we'll go home and you can no. watch me have my period. No. What's wrong? Oh my That's not God. sexy. Catholicism oh. and Judaism are not that different. Oh. They're two sides of the same coin. In fact, The Last Supper, one of the most iconic images of the Catholic faith, was a Passover Seder. And if I'm not mistaken, Islam is also in that same spiritual family. Uh, let's not muddy things up here. And what really bothers me is you pretend you're this deep guy who loves women for their souls when all you do is date bimbos. Yeah, I date women for their bodies, but at least I'm honest about it. I don't buy them a copy of Catcher in the Rye and then lecture them with some seventh grade interpretation of how Holden Caulfield is some profound intellectual. He wasn't. He was a spoiled brat. And that's why you like him so much. He's you. God, you're pretentious. I'll give Quagmire that. Yeah, at least Quagmire is real about it. You know what I'm saying? Like me. I'm not really a, a feelings type of guy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the type of dude who's going to cry and, and be tender and all of that stuff. I have other stuff that I'd much rather spend my time doing with a female that's entertaining to me, you know? Um, when I meet a girl, I'm like, I like to play fight. I'm not really a, you know, I'm not really a feelings type of dude. I crack jokes, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really a, oh my God, please, oh. And you delude yourself by thinking you're some great writer, even though you're terrible. You know, I should have known Cheryl Teagues didn't write me that note. She would have known there's no A in the word definite. Hey, Juice, uh, is it all right if I call you Juice? Great. Uh, listen, I was wondering if you could give me a little advice on how to murder a woman and get away with it. Oh, cool, look at that. Hey, Chris, go long. Ah! Ah! Touchdown! Good grief. O.J. Simpson has moved to Quahog. We don't have footage of the murder itself. These scenes pleased me. I hope you guys... <laughs> this is such a terrible outro. <laughs> Enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twizzlers.